Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Monica and for today's video, I am going to talk about the different job and career opportunities for electronics engineering graduates here in the Philippines and possibly abroad. Just a backstory, I was actually supposed to do a completely different video with a completely different concept for this week than this one that I am making. But a few days ago, I actually stumbled upon this question. This was posted on one of my engineering videos. I was actually talking about how I passed the ECE and ECT licensure exam. And I think it's very admirable that the younger generation these days are curious about this kind of thing because although I honestly don't have any regrets taking up ECE, I wish I would have, you know, explored more or had a glimpse of what life would be after college. So now, um, I'm here to share my two cents with you, share some thoughts and information that I know in order for you to be able to make up the decision or if you're taking ECE currently, have you be motivated in finishing this course. Before we start, I hope that you can subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell button so you can be updated in my upcoming videos. I upload anything under the sun on this channel so if you want to join my small community then go ahead and subscribe. This won't actually be the first time that I get to talk about this topic because last year I was fortunately invited by the Electronics Engineering Society of the Bicol State College of Applied Science and Technology. So they had a webinar called Preparing Future Engineers and I already was able to share my two cents and thoughts about the electronics engineering career after graduation. Now I'm just going to talk about it again with additional information and knowledge that I got to learn for the past year. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, I just want to define what electronics engineering is. By definition, electronics engineering is an engineering discipline that deals with electronic circuits, electronic equipments, and devices, and as well as the systems that use them. In a nutshell, electronics engineering is all about technology. The most common misconception about electronics engineering is that it's the same as electrical engineering. What? What the f But there's actually a fine line that distinguishes the two disciplines of engineering, which is the word electricity. To make it easy, an electrical engineer deal with the stuff that power up the whole house and buildings. However, electronics engineers don't do that. We deal with stuff that are low voltages. So we deal with the stuff that powers up your phone, your laptop, your computer, and how they communicate to each other. Now let's get to the juicy part. There are actually three main industries in which electronics engineers will have a lot of opportunity in. So these three industries are mainly the semiconductor industry, the telecommunications industry, and the IT engineering industry. Now let's talk about the overview of each industry. And I'm also going to list 
some of the biggest companies wherein you might have a chance of working at with your electronics engineering degree. The first industry is the semiconductor industry. Basically, this industry involves the design and fabrication of semiconductor and semiconductor devices as well as integrated circuits. These are the chips that go into your phone, your laptop, your computer, other devices, and appliances and as well as cars. Some of the biggest semiconductor companies here in the Philippines are Texas Instruments, Analog Devices, On Semiconductor, Emerson, and Lattice Semiconductor. Those are international companies and it's a good start if you actually happen to be employed in those companies for your first job. Some of the positions that you can take up when you are in a semiconductor company are product engineer, process engineer, quality and reliability assurance engineer, test engineer, field service engineer, PCB design engineer, and many more. The next industry is the telecommunications industry. Basically, these are companies that transfer data or information in words, audio, voice, or images. So, some of the biggest companies here in the Philippines is, of course, Smart, Globe, Dito, and PLD. If you are considering to work in the telecommunications industry, the positions that you can take up as an engineer are wireless core engineer, network engineer, site reliability engineer, and many more. The last industry is the IT engineering industry, which is probably the most broad out of all three because it involves anything that is related to the design, implementation, and maintenance of anything that is related to a computer-based system. So, some of the biggest companies that you can work for when you are interested about the IT engineering industry can vary from an entertainment company, which is Spotify, YouTube, or Google and even Netflix and also you can work for fintech companies which is Maya, Gcash and other paying apps or financial apps. You can also work for companies that offer shopping platforms which is the Amazon, eBay, Shopee, and Lazada. So any company that has an app on the Play Store or Apple Store, they surely will need someone with an electronics engineering degree. In the IT engineering industry, you can have the role of a DevOps engineer, a software engineer, a technical operations engineer, and many more. Now that you have found out about the three main industries in which you can work for when you have an electronics engineering degree, let me know in the comments which industry might be the one for you. For my experience, I have actually already ventured from semiconductor industry to IT engineering industry. I think both industries are equally challenging, but that's a part of being an engineer. Um, I have been experiencing, you know, big adjustments because I have taken up a product engineer role in the semiconductor industry, and now I am currently working as a technical operations engineer for a fintech company. As I progress into my career or my job, I hope that I can share more of my thoughts with you in the future. If you are an electronics engineering student, I hope that this video gave you an insight on what to look forward to after 
having your electronics engineering degree. I hope that you learned a thing or two. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and I hope to see you on my next video. That's it for now, and bye-bye.